Hi, I'm Sophie, and welcome to my world. Today, we're actually in Sophie's Outer Limits world, because today, we're going to be making alien spaceships. Now, let me just show you a couple little examples before we get started. Now, this one, as you can see, these are made out of all entirely recycled materials. This one, he's a little lost in space. He's uh, looking a little confused. He's got a bottle cap for his steering wheel. He's got a disc, a CD disc for his um, base, and he's got his glass dome. This one, as you can tell, she's a little more sassy. Now I'm going to show you how to make the basic spaceship, but as you can tell with all of these little uh, examples here, you can go crazy with your imagination with whatever you have around the house to glue on as embellishments. But to make your basic spaceship, you just need a few things. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need one of these old, used, no longer in service CDs. Now kids, Make sure that you check with your parents. Don't go taking their uh, Adele CD or you're going to be in big trouble. Then you're also going to need one of these domed drink cups. Now these you can find, they use them for like specialty coffee drinks and those frozen drinks. These are fantastic and fabulous to use for the domes on your spaceship. I'm going to be using two puff balls, one small, one large. And then I'm also going to be using for my eyes two black beans. Now the reason I like to use the black beans is because they've got that kind of slanty look that gives you that great alien expression. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our hot glue gun for this. So adults, supervision, please. We are going to take a little teeny bit of hot glue and put it right here in the middle of our big puffball. And then we're going to take our little puffball and just put it right on top there. Now remember, Hot glue guns are hot, so you only need a teeny tiny little dab of it and you want to keep it away from your fingers. Now here's where it's going to get a little tricky and you must have an adult to do this. We're going to put two little dollops, one here, one here. These are going to be for the eyes. Now, I would suggest count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then place your eyes. That way, because you're adding something that's so small, if you do end up touching the hot glue, you're not going to end up burning yourself. Your glue stays hot for about 30 seconds, so 10 seconds is going to be a great amount of time. It's still going to give you the pliability and the heat of the glue that you're going to need. Now I want to attach my little fella, isn't he cute? I want to attach my little fella right here to my CD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a ring of glue right around that circle. Now here's where you do want to be very, very careful. If you're putting your little alien on, don't put your hand underneath here because if you accidentally push some of that glue through, that's going to come onto your hand and I don't want you to burn yourself. Okay, so I'm going to push him on there. Do, 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 do. Bop, bop, bop. And there he is. He's all ready on his little spaceship. Now, he's going into the outer atmosphere, so we want to make sure that he can breathe. So. I have my little dome that I'm going to place over top of him. Now, you can glue this down with hot glue, but because this plastic is so thin, it has a tendency to melt, and I would prefer it, if you have glue dots, that you use your glue dots here. Or you can use regular tacky glue. That works really well, too. But the glue dot is going to be specifically sticky and allow me to do something very special, which I'm going to show you in just a second here. I'm going to put one glue dot on here and I'm going to place it right on top of my little alien guy. The nice thing about glue dots is if you get it placed in the wrong place, you can pick it up and move it a little bit. But what I like about the glue dot is that now my lid can actually lift off and go back down again. So if I want to add a little friend or maybe he's going to he's going to beam something up. You can beam it up and lock it in and there you go. You can even make a game this way if you wanted to. Now, like I said, you can go crazy with the decorations. I mean, you can add everything from feathers for our sassy one over here to really sparkly, glittery stickers. I'm particularly fond of this one because not only is it using a recycled material, but it's using a bit of nature to create this really kind of fun and wonky monster. Don't feed the plants. 
And I also want to show you this one. Now, in this case, instead of using a drink top lid, what I've used is one of those gumball machine plastic little containers that comes out of the gumball machine, and that makes a perfect little alien space dome, too. So there you have it. Lots of outer space adventures can be had. Pick up some CDs, little drink cup lid, and you can go out of this world. For more out of this world ideas, come to sophie-world.com.